In this video, I want to show you how you can segregate your data from your reports in Power BI. I want to show you how to do it step by step and also talk about why you should do it in the first place. All of that and more. So without further ado, let's get started. Hi, my name is Fanan and welcome to the Solutions Abroad YouTube channel where we cover tips, tricks and best practices when working with Power BI. I upload new videos every week so make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified when a new one is out. So before I start with the demo, I just want to explain to you what I mean by segregating your data from your reports in Power BI. If you've published any reports to the Power BI service, you'll notice that you've actually published two separate files connected to each other. One is the dataset which contains your data, your calculations, your relationships, and the reports, which contains your visualizations, your charts, and your pages. Now, this concept is abstracted to you in Power BI Desktop, where you just have one file, uh, but actually containing two separate things, the data sets and the report. Let's go through the demo first, and then I'll explain to you afterwards why you should do it in the first place. So here we have a report that I've created, the Headcount Analytics report, and it's just got a couple of different pages here. So we've uh, got the starters, levers, headcount, and turnover, and just giving you some insights for you know uh, certain HR analytics stats, like you know how many starters do you have by gender, uh, how many levers have you got, uh, and over time, this kind of uh, statistics. And if you look on the right hand side here, we've got a lot of calculations that uh, sort of feeds to this report. We have different calculations like, you know, getting the averages, the uh, year to date, calculating your headcount and starters. And for this report, we want to segregate the data, which is the stuff on the right hand side here, to the reports, which are the visuals in our main report view here. So let's start first by publishing this into our Power BI service. I'm gonna publish this in one of my empty workspaces here. So now if we go to that workspace here in our Power BI service, you'll notice that it's actually published to different files, as I mentioned before, the reports, which contains the visuals, and then the data set, which contains the data. And if we look at the lineage view here, they are connected together here in our workspace. So you'll see that the uh, report pulls data from the uh, data sets. So now let's try to separate these into two different parts. And uh, I'll just delete this for now and then we'll republish them as separate entities. We'll go back to my desktop here and we'll create a duplicate one which is the headcount analytics and then i'll do another one called data sets let's open the data sets here to so notice is the same report um, with data in the uh, pages so what we'll need to do for the data sets is we'll just need to delete all the pages So we want to just keep the data without any visualizations. So you can't have a report with no pages. So I'll just create a blank one here and I'll delete this one as well. So we now have just the data without any visuals. We'll publish this into our workspace. Same place, sample reports. So now we'll, let's look back at that workspace. So it's created uh, two different things. Uh, because it's just the data sets that we're after and not the reports, we'll just delete this. And you'll notice that uh, it keeps the data sets and that's what we'll just need to use for our new report. So now let's head back to this uh, original report that we've got here, the headcount analytics reports. And for this one, we need to remove the data and just keep the visuals. Um, and the easiest way to do that is through Power Query. We can just delete all of these hit close and load we'll delete this one as well so you have to make sure that it's completely empty first before we can pull data from that uh, data set that, that we've just published so now everything seems to be broken as you can see uh, however, this will be fixed shortly, so I will show you how. So from here, 
uh, now we're gonna click Power BI dataset. So we're gonna get data from a Power BI dataset, and we're gonna look for the dataset that we've just uploaded. So this one, Headcount Analytics dataset in the Sample Reports workspace. So we're gonna click on that, hit Create. So now this report doesn't have a local data set, but instead it's pulling data from an already published data set in the workspace. So what does that mean? It means that anytime uh, any changes are done on the data set itself on that separate file, this report will automatically inherit those changes. So let's say a new developer creates a new measure um, in the data set and then publishes that data set your report will automatically have those values here in the field section because as you'll notice you won't be able to create uh, things like uh, new columns or anything like this you can create new measures of your own but you don't have uh, access or uh, you know ability to change anything in the model because you're only pulling data from it so let's have a look at what is the difference between before and now so uh, for, to do that let's hit publish Let's publish this in the sample reports workspace. That's it. So now if we look back, uh, when we published that report, uh, one thing that you might notice is that it didn't publish a data set with the reports because what we've now created is a report that doesn't have uh, any imported data in it. So it's getting data from the data set already here, which means that it's a something that we call a lean report. And that's it. So now you have two entities that are decoupled from each other. You have a report that is separate and then you have data set that is separate. Now that we've segregated the reports and the data set, it's time now to talk about why you should do it in the first place. The first reason is to help with collaboration. If you ever worked with the same Power BI report with multiple developers, you'll notice that you can't work on them simultaneously because Power BI reports just doesn't work quite like the coding environment where you can uh, just make changes on small parts of it and uh, be able to save those changes on those small parts without affecting everything. So how it normally works is one report developer can only work on the report file at a given time. Once they're finished and they want to save their changes, they will save it and commit it. And then the next report developer can come in and then work on that file exclusively. Now that you have the reports and data segregated, it means that you kind of have two report developers, one working on the data sets and one working on the visuals, allowing them to work simultaneously for the same report. Now, the second reason is to improve sharing and reusing of data sets. Now I covered this topic extensively in a previous video so go check it out if you haven't yet but basically because you created an isolated data set it means that other reports can pull data from this data set without having to recreate any of the calculations that you've already created um, avoiding duplication of work when it comes to report development the third reason is security so because you have an isolated data set that is being used by multiple reports it means that you have just one place for you to control uh, security measures like row level filters uh, making it easier to manage. And that's really it for this video. I hope it helped you understand how easy it is to start isolating your data sets from your reports in Power BI. Thanks for watching. As usual, give this video a like if you found it useful. Give it a dislike if you didn't so I know to do better for next time. Ask your questions in the comment section box below so I can help you and you can help others. If you really like this video, we have a Patreon page where you can support the channel and get exclusive perks like early access, demo files, and credits at the end of these videos. Thanks again for watching and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.